Hey everyone, this is Badger Wild here again with another Space Engineers Tips video. And today we are checking out the Action Relay and the Broadcast Controller. Now the Broadcast Controller, both of these and, and the, the, brought the uh, Action Relay, these are probably two of the coolest blocks we have ever gotten in Space Engineers. They are, they are chef's kiss. This is probably... Next to automations, this is probably one of the coolest things that I have seen in Space Engineers. This this takes your automations and your custom weapons and all the builds that you've got and just turns them, just, it just expands your ability to operate since I have not messed with it. And it's, it's damn simple to do, folks. So with that being said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. If you guys enjoy the content that you're watching, and as always, I have tons of content on the channel. Be sure to check it out. I do live streams every Tuesday, and we have a video every Friday at the very least. Sometimes I may do two videos if I've got the time. But today, here's what we're doing. We, this is what we're checking out. The two, the two, the two crown jewel. Um, the, these these are these are the two blocks that we got that were just. Mm, Mm, these blocks just make everything so much better. You could have had every other block in the signal pack completely gone. These two blocks right here make everything worth it. So without further ado, let's get started. You'll know I got two drones sitting here. We'll take a look at those in a minute. But first, we're going to check out the action relay or not the action, relay, the broadcast controller. So this is a pretty sub this is a pretty standard controller. It enables you to send out messages however you want them sent out. So, um, and you're allowed to put at least eight messages into this uh, controller here, this broadcast controller. And what this does, you can send random messages. You can actually type in whatever message you want to send. But the thing that I'm loving the most is it has send GPS out of it. And the best part is, as long as you're within antenna range, and this is the important part of this. This is why you need antennas. You're going to need either the satellite antenna, laser antenna for like laser antenna probably work for like extreme long ranges. So when you bring a ship in now, if you're going to go do stuff with it and you want to maintain contact, the best thing for you to do is set the laser antenna up to the coordinates of your base, fire off your laser antenna and you can communicate back and forth. If something happens, you can send a button. So now you can have like a panic button you can send stuff with. So say you want to put something out here. We're going to turn on our tab for a moment so you can see my screen at the side and we're going to haul off we're going to hit number four here i know these are out of order but eh, this is how i've been looking at it and figuring it out this is the last thing i looked at so we push number four here say say we're flying in this ship suddenly we come under attack and i need to send something to everyone in the area we just push a button here to tell them where our coordinates are at and there they are i'll tell them nothing like look over into your uh chat log here's the coordinates and then people can look over they can see the coordinates you can probably even go in there, take a look at them and do something with them. And people can take those coordinates and do something with it. They can find out where you're at and find your panic. You can put this in as an SOS. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere with nothing, you can push this on to press it and have it repeat. And it'll repeat a message. It'll repeat message one, um, help SOS, message two. These are our coordinates so that people can just find your ship and go get it. And you can do this with a broadcast signal. You can also means we can deploy pods that might be able to leave and will have laser antennas attached to them. So as they're floating away, they'll start broadcasting in all directions. Somebody is bound to run into that signal. Signals go for a long way. But continuing forward, let's say, you know, you're coming in here and you're working with the action relay. Now, the action relay is it's a little different. Um, you have to have two of them. As far as I can tell, you have to have two. You have to have one to send a signal and one to receive it. And they have to re and they send the signal through your antenna network. So if you don't have an antenna, nothing will happen. Another thing here is the channel. This is very important. You see, we have channels all the way up to 100. We have a lot of things happen. And each action that you want taken has to be on a specific channel. So if you want to push a button on a ship and have it do something... You're going to have to have the ship with an action relay and the source of the action relay on that other grid. Now, to set up actions, you'll look here. On this grid, we have no action set up. So nothing is going to happen while we're on this. Can I set something up here? Yeah, good. 
Um, I can probably have an action set up here that happens on this grid while simultaneously doing something different on the other grid. So say I've got a ship, I want to do an auto docking sequence with the ship. As it comes in, I push the garage door opener. I send the signal to mine. We'll have a garage, say we've got like a garage door opening deal right here. That'll open the garage at the same time. An AI recording block on board the ship will take over the ship and initiate auto docking sequence as the door is opening up, committing to a perfect docking sequence. So you don't have to do a whole lot. So you can just turn off your ship and start heading towards the docking bay port if you want. Now, to show you how this works, we do have one on this end. And we have an action relay over here, which looks just perfect with this antenna, this compact antenna, let me tell you. But on here, you can see that this one is also set to channel one. It is set to my faction. And then the, it has an actual thing that goes on. So the action is I want to turn the hydrogen thruster on and off. This is a pretty basic thing. You're going to see this. If you look up any of the videos on the action relay, a lot of people are doing this particular deal. This is the simplest thing you can do is just turn something on and off. So I go over here. We're not going to push two. I'm going to push one. Hydrogen thrusters come on. Push one again. Hydrogen thrusters turn off. Simple, right? Let's say we want to do something a little more complex. And that's where these guys come in. We have two little drones sitting here. Perfect, perfectly nice little drones. Now I'm going to hop into my drone via the remote control block. If you're not, I'm, if you don't remote control your grids, you have something, you're going to have problems at some point because if you don't remote control the grids, you're going to have an issue. So we're going to go into one of our grids and we're going to go into where our action relay is at. You know, this one is set to channel two. Hmm. Channel two. That's interesting. Our next relay is set to channel two. Three. These are the only two that are operating. This one here is not doing anything. But these two are set to different channels. So channel two, and this is in the drone, not on the base. We push in here, we've got three actions that are taking off. And option one, we're going to turn on AI recorder land, AI behavior on and off. Okay. The second one is going to be landing gear locked. That is going to unlock the landing gear or switch lock. And then we have AI recorder land play this means we're going to play the waypoint system and the the ai the drone is going to operate via whatever the waypoints are we can do all of this with a single button push and we don't have to have the grid attached to our grid so before if you wanted to recall ships and stuff in space engineers you had to set the ship up so that when some when a condition was met in game or in combat the ship would then turn around and come right back to base. And that creates an issue because if you can't actively control this, you can't, you were not actively having any control of this. Now, there were some people who could use scripts that could send a signal or something and that would send them back. But that's not what we have to do now with this thing. So with action relaying, so see, we've got channel set to two. This one is going to simply send a signal. You don't have to tell it to send a signal. You can just put that in there. And then we have a toolbar here, which does nothing. Now, what am I doing exactly? The way you do this is when you set up your action relay, let's say we're going to do action relay two, and we're going to set up actions. I set up the action relay to send a signal. That's what you want it to do. You want it to send signal. So to communicate with another vessel, you just push a button and it will send a signal out there. A simple action will happen. Once that action happens, then the signal is sent and then it comes back to you. So you can do all this stuff. So pretty, pretty good little system to work with. So as I go over here, I can push a simple little button here. We're going to push button number two, I believe. This one here gives me some issues because it just double locks in. So we're going to hit that twice. Because collision avoidance with the other drone, it doesn't want to get in there. And now both drones are taking off to provide patrol around a designated waypoint. So now you can set up patrol zones. If people come in and they start trying to do something stupid, you can set these drones up. You can set different systems inside the drones. So you can say, okay, we want you to pull into this specific area, have them go into what looks like a shipyard. And then now you can turn on some security drones to move around and make sure nothing is going on, nothing bad is happening. And if the drone decides to engage, you can push a button and the drone will engage. Now, these are set to pretty slow and they're just set to basic waypoints. These are not recorded 
systems. Those are usually a lot more fluid. I just did the waypoints because they're a lot easier to do and to maintain. But you can see now the AI is now just wandering around the ship doing its thing. So let's say, OK, you know what? We're done. We want to bring these guys back in the fold. I have another action relay for that. We'll just push this button. And now our drones and other three systems have been activated, allowing the drones to come back to base. And that's what this does. Now, by using the waypoint system, the drones are going to come back. Sometimes there is a bit of an issue with the waypoint system on the drones as they forget where they're at for a moment or they have too much difficulty or repeat systems too much. The drone will usually shut off. Usually, mm, dude, <laughs> like I said, they're a little dumb. But, uh, <laughs> well, everybody, bloopers and everything, we're going to leave that in because that's just funny as heck. So now we have another option here. We have a, a damaged drone that is now coming back and is going to set itself into position. And you can watch right here. It's going to come in and land. Ta-da, we have landed. Now the other drone is going to come in and it's going to land as well. Give it a moment. And there we are. Both drones have now landed and I can begin implementing rapid repairs to this drone for smacking into something and doing some stupid stuff. But as you can see, the drones work pretty good. These are just real simple drones. They're easy to make. If you guys want to see this uh, put up there, it's not the most perfected thing. Let me perfect it and I'll put it up there and you guys can take a look at it and see if you want to play with them. Uh, let me know in the comments. But as you can see right there, you can do several actions with this uh we can you can now deploy squadrons of drones inside of your ship uh from a carrier and one of the things that i have mentioned when i did my carriers video is everyone said well the problem with carriers is that once you launch a carrier and uh, you launch all your fighters someone can just kite the fighters and just run them off now if they're running off with the fighters you just push a button and recall fighters and you set them to attack the closest thing. Now your fighters just suddenly break off pursuit. That guy's run off. He's worthless. Let's send the fighters back in and call them, cause them to uh, run somebody else off, for instance. And while the enemy is in the middle of a fight, suddenly all the fighters suddenly come back and start whooping the snot out of them. So now this is making carriers more effective. You can now launch um, smaller drones. You can have ships that move into position. You can go in. Um, one of the things that I was talking with a friend of mine about when looking at over this was we were discussing it and he goes yeah you know what you could do you could uh come in with your ship activate an auto landing sequence like we have here on your big ship one that is actually recorded with precision movement and then as your ship comes into position you can have the base open up defenses deploy lots of uh, aerial drones just to start moving into position with a single button push i can deploy drones i can activate systems i can turn on batteries i could lock down specific areas we can send the ship in as because when i push that to cause a signal to happen on the ship that also is going to cause several things to happen on the ship i can power down weapons i can turn on specific thrusters and everything i can have another ship going out there to run interference for my ship um or i can call in a ship to my position if I want to, it can take off from, we can have like a Corvette sitting there and it just automatically takes off like one big giant drone. So lots of things, lots of things you can do. And the best part about this action relay, let me, let me go over here and just show y'all this real quick. The best part about the action relay, when we go to set up actions, we have, you can see down here, 10 pages of 10 actions a piece. Well, nine actions on here. We can implement 90 actions to happen on a, on a station on that grid or between two grids or between several grids on the same channel. You can push a button and 90 different things can potentially happen on your grid at one time. You can push a button, open your garage door, turn on all your batteries, go from low power mode to full manufacturing mode. The entire base starts lighting up as you are pulling in while your ship in itself is implementing some complex maneuvers to lock itself into place. You can just get to the outskirts of your base, push a button. Everything starts coming alive. And as you are walking away 
from your control panel to the door. You can walk over to your ship's door and wait for it to lock itself in place and then open up and in you go. You just walk right into your base. So much simplicity can now be solved thanks to these two little blocks we have right here that are going to just absolutely change space engineers. We're going to be able to do all sorts of stuff with this. Uh, I've, I've already come up with a concept of a robo salvage unit that you can turn loose onto a ship and you can recall at any point in time you want. You just turn it loose. It will go onto a ship, just grind, start burrowing into the ship and tearing into it and just ripping all the guts and all the important stuff out of the ship. And then it, when it gets to a certain, when it gets to a certain weight capacity or a certain fillage, it gets done, comes back to the ship locks itself in place and just keeps doing that until it finishes off everything. And then with a simple push of a button, just a push of a button on your ship, you can turn off specific systems such as your invent controller and certain AI blocks and set it to just come back and lock back into place. And you're done. You're done, ladies and gentlemen. You're done. You can salvage and strip an entire ship and never have to leave the comfort of your vessel. We're reaching a level of automation that is going to be in insane at some point and this block is so simple to use it if the user simplicity of this I'm, I'm telling you nasa needs to start looking at a keen on how they make things so user friendly because dang uh civilian space travel will be happening in 40 years if they did that anyway folks i am badger wild saying stay safe stay frosty be sure to check out for the live streams and our original content on the channel um, also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I have new videos coming out every week, as well as a live stream every Tuesday. Anywho, as I said before, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.